You also, over the next couple of weeks and months, need to be especially careful when you're boating with lightning. And Amanda Holly's going to talk more about Lightning Awareness Week. Yeah, absolutely. It is a Lightning Awareness Week across the nation. And uh, unfortunately, when we look at the lightning fatalities over the span of 12 years from 2006 to 2018, fishing was the number one culprit of a lightning fatalities. And you go down the list here, if you're walking on the beach, 23 lightning fatalities, camping 19, farming 19, and you can see that obviously all of these are outdoor activities. Now we break it down by gender. 80% of all lightning fatality victims are male, with 20% being female. But it's up to you to limit your risk of even being struck in the first place. So what can you do here? If you can hear thunder, you are close enough to being struck by lightning. Regardless if you see dark clouds or are in any kind of rain, lightning can strike up to 10 miles away from the nearest raindrop. Keep that in mind. Bolts from the blue, we call them. Now, if you're inside a house, obviously if you hear thunder, move inside a sturdy shelter, but while inside, avoid the plumbing and avoid any water usage and don't use any electronics that are plugged in because the electricity can travel through those things. And don't lean on any concrete walls here and avoid porches and stay away from the windows. I know, I know, I love to look at a good thunderstorm too, but if a lightning strikes nearby, it can break windows. Lee, so you know, we don't have any lightning really in our forecast today, at least not in the sky, right? <laughs> right, we do have but, the, big, the big lightning game tonight, yes, but it uh, is summer. We, but we know there's lightning almost every day in the summer, so those are some great tips. Thanks so very much, Amanda. It's just